Meghan Markle has been lamented as a hypocrite over her bid to make people feel something. The Duchess of Sussex gave a rare red carpet interview at the glitzy variety Power of Women Gala in Los Angeles. She hinted at future plans for her and Prince Harry, stating she was in the business of making people feel something with her work. Her intentions were not met positively by royal author Angela Levin, who said she burst out laughing at the remark. She said that she wants to make people feel. I burst out laughing, she said. Feel what? What does she actually mean? I think it was one of those woke sort of things. She was wearing beige which she made a huge complaint about because she said the royal family made her wear those colors. So we we are with Miss Hypocrite again. If she really doesn't want to belong to the royal family, why is she hanging on like death for the titles, she was excited to be there without Prince Harry, trying to look as happy as possible. During her interview, Meghan spoke about the impact of Suits, a show in which she starred, she also gave a glimpse into her future ambitions, admitting she is hoping to be in the business of getting people to make people feel. She told Variety that she wants to create pieces that make people feel, I want to say good, but it's much more than that. Meghan spoke on the wild surge in popularity for Lord Drama Suits. After it emerged it is one of the most streamed shows currently. According to the Nielsen charts, Suits remained in the top 10 for 12 weeks in a row as rumors mount over a possible spin-off. Meghan added she had no idea why it was performing so strongly. She paid tribute to the cast and crew, saying her time working on it was great, adding she had a really fun time. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly set for a higher payout from Netflix after their £80 million deal with the streaming giant. According to a source close to the couple, Harry and Meghan are in talks with Netflix about renegotiating their contract after the sag after actors strike ended in November. The source said, Harry and Meghan are in a very strong position to negotiate a higher payout from Netflix. They have been very successful in producing content for the platform and their shows have been watched by millions of people around the world. It is not known how much more money Harry and Meghan are asking for, but it is believed that they could receive a significant increase on their current deal. The couple's production company, Aquil Productions, has already produced two documentaries for Netflix, including Heart of Invictus and Meghan Markle, or Royal Life. They are also working on a number of other projects for the platform.